You ever run across some great lat long data in a table on Wikipedia and you want to steal it and make a map out of it? Here's how you can convert degrees, minutes, seconds into nice, tidy decimal degrees. I'm not a computer programmer, but I can goof around in a spreadsheet. Let's do this. This video is brought to you by Jody Flock, my fourth grade teacher. More on that at the end of the video. Let's say you're cruising around Wikipedia and you find this great little proto data set and oh my goodness, it's got coordinates. I am just going to copy these and paste them into a spreadsheet. Control V. And I'll just keep the values. From a data perspective, this is a little bit of a worst case scenario. We've got degrees, minutes, and seconds, and latitude and longitude are combined into one cell. What's the big deal? Well, there are a couple different ways of formatting coordinates. There's degrees, minutes, seconds, and then there's decimal degrees. Degrees, minutes, and seconds, or DMS, breaks the world up into a finer and finer mesh of a base 60 grid covering the entire Earth. 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in one degree. But generally, it's just easier for our culture and our computer programs to work with a base 10 system. Decimal degrees is a sort of hybrid system. It uses degrees, but then it does away with minutes and seconds and instead just uses decimal places. Every additional decimal place adds 10x of precision. Our first task is parsing all of these numbers out, including north, and east, south, west. And we'll do that in a sneaky way. Instead of relying on all these characters, we're gonna replace them all with a single pipe character and then split them apart that way. So I'm gonna choose Control H to do find and replace, and I'll find the degree sign, which I wish existed on keyboards. I'm gonna replace it with a pipe. Just a vertical line and with the whole column selected i'll choose to replace all now all degree signs have been replaced with a pipe character and we'll do the same thing with minutes paste it here select the whole column replace and seconds Here's a weird character. This is the space between latitude and longitude. There's a space, but guess what? It's not a literal space. It's just a span inside the CSS from the website I copied it from, Wikipedia. So I'm gonna copy this directly. If I just typed in a space here, it wouldn't work. I tried. Now just one more bit of data trickery, and that's to turn the N and the S and the E and the W into positive or negative one. So we can use that to multiply and make the decimal degree is positive or negative values instead of a N or S label. So now when I do find and replace, I'm gonna find N and replace it with one because that's the positive hemisphere. And be sure that this range is selected so you don't mess up all of your other attributes over here and replace all the Ns in your whole sheet, just what you have selected. And I'm gonna blow away the word coordinates, but that's okay. So N replace with one. East replace it with positive one. South is gonna be negative one and west will be negative one. All that we have to do now is go to data, split text to columns, and then the separator character is gonna be custom, and I'll just type in that little pipe that we made. Pipe, beautiful. Degrees, minutes, seconds, and hemisphere are all broken out into their own columns. And we've also managed to separate out latitude from longitude. But when you goof around with data like this, it's always a good idea to check once in a while as you go to see if everything looks good. What is this? Let's check the source data. Okay, this one was already in decimal degrees. Oh boy, good old data in the wild. In this case, it's kind of an easy fix since these are already just degrees. I can cut this and put it in the degree place including its north, south, east, west multiplier. Crisis averted, but I guarantee you, if you're copying and pasting data from the web and cleaning it and doing replacements, this is gonna happen. Keep an eyeball peeled. Okay, now it's time to write a formula to squish these degree, minutes, and seconds fields into discrete latitude and longitude cells over here. Equals degrees, and then I'll add in parentheses minutes divided by 60 because there is 60 minutes in a degree add parentheses seconds divided by 3600 seconds in a degree then i'll put the whole thing in parentheses and multiply it by its hemisphere Let's hit enter and see what we get okay decimal degrees and look at that it even auto filled all of my latitude cells below it i accept this thank you i will just do the exact same thing for longitude
looking good, but watch out, there's one last trick the spreadsheet has in store for you. We're done with all these components now, can we just delete them? Oh no, everything is erased and it's down to zero. That's because we were using them as the components to a living formula. We need to copy these and paste their values in new cells. Now they're safe. And we can take great satisfaction in naming our new columns and deleting the ones we don't need anymore. Now, instead of degree, minutes, seconds, formatted coordinates within one cell, whew, we have two discrete latitude, longitude cells and decimal degrees. And here's how to add tabular coordinate data in ArcGIS Pro. And if I was a good, more patient person, I would have actually fixed those numeric depth values in the table too, so I could do some depth mapping, but I didn't. And here's an example, adding it to ArcGIS Online and turning it into cute little points. This video was brought to you by Jody Flock, my fourth grade teacher. Thank you, Miss Flock. Fourth grade was the first year of school that I had where I wasn't consumed with anxiety and nervous to go to school most days. You made learning fun. You made school fun. Thanks so much.